Hello everyone! Today we have another exciting interview for you today, this time with the lead graphic designer for Son of Oak Game Studio, Manuel Serra Saez. Manuel, how are you doing today? Doing great. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Hello. Hello everyone. <laughs> Well, great to hear from you today. I'm um, honestly, I was really excited for this interview because you know we've been talking with writers and we've been talking with developers. But one thing people know about City of Mist is its aesthetic, its visuals. It is very, it's very aesthetic heavy, especially for like a noir magic mystery game. And you are a large part of that. So I really want to delve into those visual design choices, but first I want to talk about you. So Manuel, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and how you ended up where you are now? Right. So I'm a graphic designer from, uh, from my studying years. It was already uh, around 10 years ago. And one of my first clients actually was uh, Amit and the uh, City of Mist. I, I'm here from the really beginning of the project. It's been already seven years, seven years or so. And uh, we grew up together a lot. We grew basically from no nothing, like uh, with the first Kickstarter, uh, setting a, a really tiny uh, book for a starter set. And uh, it was a huge journey and uh, uh, I learned a lot with uh, all this project, uh, with this project, and I always liked, from the beginning, to be designing uh, layouts and uh, editorial. So this was really the perfect uh, match for me. So, what is it like from your perspective? Like, what interests you with like design and layout? Like, what? Why is that your calling? Um. I love it because uh, it's a project that takes longer to develop and to to ha get a final uh, result. And that's something it's not so usual in design where everything should be really fast and um, you change projects every few weeks or so. And with books, you take more time to process it, to develop and to, to uh, have a lot of uh, conversation with the client and to get to something really big like uh, you put a lot of love to every page, so I don't know. It has something a lot more deep than other graphic design. That I, uh, that's what I think. Putting love into every page, I absolutely love that. And speaking of putting love into every page, I got to ask, what was the process like for coming up with the graphic design for the incredibly aesthetic, heavy City of Mist? That's a really good question because. Um, it's something that I've been uh, working on for even er uh, for many years. Um, this aesthetic is something I liked even before uh, working on City of Mist. I, I did the project right er right before uh, City of Mist that already had this uh, mix of objects, a uh, lot of textures, a lot of uh, uh, levels of typography, and that work that I previously uh, made mixed with a really uh, clear um, inspiration that uh, Amit gave me. I think it was a really perfect match to get what, what, of, to get, uh, what you see, actually. Love that. Honestly, like one of the things that brought me into City of Mist was like opening up those books and seeing the enemy stat blocks were like scraps of paper that were literally pinned to the book itself. Or you open up a case and there's like a manila folder with like here's the evidence and like case notes and all that stuff. What was, could you tell me a bit more about like the process of like coming to those decisions? Right. So I think the, the whole idea was always to give you the sense of being on a detective stable, kind of like all the all the objects that you could uh, find around and clues uh, of the cases, and we wanted to transfer that into uh, into the book, uh, and so you have to be like looking from from the top, and uh, everything is a bit in the middle but organized, and finding that balance, uh, it was kind of. Um, what you get there. You, it should be really readable, it should be really um, easy to use, and at the same time, give you all this, all this feeling. So it was a nice, it was a really nice uh, 
uh, playful moment to create all this. So when designing the graphic layout and look of City of Mist, when you know, making these decisions, what sources did you draw inspiration from? Were there any like books or movies or anything like that that really inspired you? So um, the good thing about City of Mist is that you also get a lot of art from Martin and from lots of other artists. And those are really inspiring already. I get inspired a lot just from there, also because um, they have to live together. So you, it has to be a good merge and good a good match in between the, their style and the layout style. So I actually um, see what I can get from there also, what, are, what objects and what uh, sources it can provide me and, and try to transfer that into the layout. Love that. It, honestly, the City of Mist art is another thing that like brought me into this game. Like you look at an image of like Kitsune or Salamander or even the, the beta Salamander before like the game was initially released and you're immediately like drawn in. You're like, okay, what are these people about? So, so City of Mist, of course, is coming out with a new expansion, Local Legends. Is there anything you're looking forward to working on with Local Legends? And of course, disclaimer, everything's still up in the air. Things are still being created. Nothing's set in stone with this interview. Uh, but is there anything you're looking forward to with Local Legends? Right, right, right. Good question. Actually, um, there is one item that I'm really looking forward to because I already had so much fun before uh, working on this. And uh, it's the crime board. It is going to be, we will have something a bit similar and I know that there are going to be some clues to be designed and some and a map and that, that was a really, really fun work to do. So that's, I think, probably the most, uh, the, the part where I'm looking forward the most. Well, I'm really excited to see the finished product of the map. I love this map that was made from one of the previous Kickstarters, and I can't wait to see the new clues that are created, the new districts added. And speaking of new districts, if you, the viewer, want to learn more about the new districts coming to City of Mist, you want to learn more about the new expansion, Local Legends, and if you want to learn about the new stretch goals we're unlocking, check out the Local Legends Kickstarter campaign through the link in the description. There's so much stuff being added, and we also have daily unlocks where we release new content that will be in the Local Legends book, along with the interviews that you're watching right now, and polls to determine the new content for Local Legends. Manuel, thank you so much again for joining me today for this interview. It was so much fun talking to you. Thanks, Kevin. It was nice. And to all of you watching at home, check out the Local Legends Kickstarter page, and as always, have fun!